Welcome to Mom Talk, the talk show for mom. I'm your host, Genevieve Lefebvre, and this is our first show as Mom Talk. Hi! So I'm with my two co-hosts, Becca E. Lewis and Heather Fox. Hi, ladies. Hi. So today we are giving you three tips on managing motherhood with Becca, Heather, and I. So Becca, do you want to start? I want you to tell us a little bit about what's happening in your life, your household, uh, as a speech and language pathologist. I want our listeners to get to know you and I want to know your tip that you have uh, prepared for us. Sounds great. So um, uh, it's been really busy. Both my boys are now in school. Uh, my youngest just started kindergarten. So now with all the activities back, we've got soccer and hockey and lacrosse and, uh, you know, just sports and uh, piano and just so much stuff. On top of that, um, I'm still the board president for my professional association and we are meeting with the government, advocating for better access to services. Um, and then I joined uh, a couple of committees at my local municipal uh, government as well. So I don't know why. I don't know why I did that this year. But <laughs> but I did. That guy's busy. So I've, added, <laughs> I've added to my plate a little bit. Uh, I still own my private practice and we now have uh, six SLPs that work with me. And so, you know, always happy to answer questions about uh, speech therapy and speech and language development, feeding, uh, all those fun things um, for our kids. And yeah, so my tip, so as you can see, I've been really, really busy. So trying to figure out how to juggle everything has been a challenge and I'm starting to, to get a, a handle on it. So that that's my tip is, so we have a calendar, a visual calendar that is located in a central area. It's literally right by the door. So everything, everyone's activities are color coded on it. So even though my youngest can't read yet, he knows he's read. <laughs> and so he knows when he has an activity coming up. So everyone can see and that really helps us coordinate all the schedules and all the activities um, between us. Um, we also for lots of the activities have its own bag. So it's just grab and go uh, between activities or if we know we're going from one to the other. We have to grab two bags her kid um, to do it. And the last one would be to really build up your village. Um, carpooling has really saved my sanity, being able to message a neighbor, a friend, uh, another parent, you know, in the same activity and say, Hey, can you take so-and-so somebody somewhere? Because uh, I need to be over here instead. <laughs> um, particularly uh, with soccer this year and uh, a couple other activities that's been very, very helpful. So those are my tips on how to manage a very busy schedule. Awesome. Well, how about you, you Heather? Me. Yes. Well, busyness. Yes, that runs the same over here. <laughs> Everything has been super busy. We, in the last year and a bit, have moved. So that was a huge change for our family. So we are now in Langley, and if you're in the Lower Mainland. <laughs> um, so we are in a new community, and Hudson started kindergarten this year. He got into the French immersion program, so we are super excited about that. Madeline joined a new preschool this year, and she's actually going there five days a week, which is wonderful. It gives me a little time now because both kids are actually busy during the day. Um, I, of course, since Hudson was born, have basically been a stay-at-home mom. Um, but um, now that I have a little more freedom, I've been kind of having some fun with my own creative outlet and doing some fun YouTube stuff with cleaning and decor, which has always been well, not the cleaning part is a passion, but the decor part is a passion. <laughs> I usually went to school for interior design. So I'm um, kind of bringing what I actually went to school for in the forefront and having some fun with it and giving some tips out there. So that's been really fun. And I'm so thrilled to be right back here with um, mom talk now, not parent talk. <laughs> that's right. And Definitely. Oh my gosh. What I have been learning in this last year and a half where things have been super crazy, super busy, lots of emotion as like, I mean, just the ages of my kids. And when we were moved, it was like two and four. So holy toddlerhood and um, moving and new schools and new neighbors and missing old friends after coming out of like a pandemic. It was just 
a lot going on. I ended up injuring myself and then we were getting sick. Everybody was taking turns. There was just so much going on um, that it's really been a learning process for me of kind of undoing perfectionism and recognizing perfectionism and realizing that a lot of my procrastination and overwhelm was because I am a perfectionist and learning to overcome this so that it's all about progress not perfection so nothing has to be perfect my house is not going to be clean 100% of the time the living room might be clean but the playroom is going to be disaster or their bedrooms are beautiful and the kitchen's a mess and <laughs> And it's not going to be 100%, 100% of the time. And it's learning to kind of go, okay, we live in this house. My kids are little. We're all busy. And I can't do it all. And neither can my husband. And so, yeah, remember, moms, you got to give yourself a little grace. you got to let things go. <laughs> so that's something I'm just, you know, learning more all the time and progress not perfection. It's my new go-to. <laughs> well, thank you, Heather. And welcome back as Heather. Uh, in the last season of Parent Talk, she was so busy with the move and everything. So um, she took a little break and Heather um, and Becca jumped in. So now with the three of us, and I love this chemistry. I think it's awesome. And I'm super excited to uh, record this amazing series with you guys and uh, get to bounce idea between the three of us. I think it's awesome. So I guess you guys want to know my tip now, right? And what, yeah. what am I up to? Absolutely. Days, right? <laughs> okay. So in the pandemic, uh, one thing we did, we purchased a little place uh, in Osoyos. So uh, we've been going a lot now to, uh, we're close to the lake. So, so we're going there quite often, but that basically re like made us like open a new realm of uh, possibility, what we're going to do for holidays. Everything changed because now we actually have a little place there. And so we're going back and forth, uh, traveling, traveling around the weekends and stuff like this. So we've been really busy with that. And I got a lot of good um, tips around this, but this is not what I want to talk about today. That would be probably for uh, another episode. Uh, also, what I've been doing is I work full time as a dental hygienist. So if you have any dental questions, yes, I can answer this. And my little Alex and Nathan are cuter than ever. And Nathan's going to be uh, soon in kindergarten. So Alex is, is already in school. So I'm finished, almost finished daycare and paying for daycare. Thank God. <laughs> Jeez. So my tip is, and it's very simple, ladies. It's two words. It's called be there. I asked a friend of mine that has two, three grown up children. And I said, you really mastered this. Like I see they're connected. They're great together. And then that's what she told me. So she's like, you know what, Jen, you got to be there. So you put your phone away or schedule a time to put your phone away just to be present with your children every day. You're busy, Becca. You're busy, Heather. I'm busy too. But one thing that I've been doing is when I get home from like five o'clock until they go to bed, my phone is actually put away. So usually moms, my friends knows, and I will probably circle back with them after 8.30. And of course, it's busy. It's like dinner time is this and that. But if on top of that, I add the phones and I'm completely disconnected, I feel, and are just for myself and uh, schedule time for dates with your children. I feel I've been taking only Alex sometime and sometime only Nathan. And if you don't have time to go on dates, I don't know, take only one. If you have two, take only one and then go to the park alone or go do a quick shop and then go buy what they like. So that's been something that my children's been finding a little bit uh, of a magical time between the two of us. And sometimes one goes with Alex. Alex, uh, my husband takes Alex, I'll take Nathan. And that's been also very lovely to uh, do some mom's or dad's dates. So mm -hmm. just be creative about it. How can you just be there? I, I feel also sometimes um, I just look at them and I just let them guide me. Okay. What are we going to do? I don't know. You tell me, what do you want to do? Right. Let's go with 
what you want to do. So sometimes we end up playing Lego or we, don't, we end up going for a walk or sometimes we end up, my kids like to do like the, the kids yoga, so, which I like it. It's a win for me at the same time. So kids yoga and uh, yeah, like use your imagination and just play with them. I think that's my number one tip. And 2023 is uh, I'm taking this on even more. And yeah, that's my tip, ladies. Be there. <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah, yeah. So anyways, I want to thank you, you, uh, Becca, Becca and uh, Heather. This is kind of funny because last year I said a lot of Becca. I kind of put Becca and Heather together. So I want to thank you, uh, Becca, yes. for <laughs> joining me in this amazing season. This is kind of funny. I kind of purposely saying it this time. It's it's our name now. <laughs> yeah, it's Becca. <laughs> I said that so many times last year. It's awesome. <laughs> That's so funny. And as for, for you, that you, you mom that are listening to us, um, you can reach us uh, to view all our av- available episodes um, on our website at mom-talk.ca or you, you can visit Mom Talk YouTube channel or all the other, uh, you can find us on all the other uh, pla- podcast platform. You can also follow us on our socials on Facebook and on Instagram. So the Mom Talk show previously called Parent Talk Podcast and Les Parents Parle Balado is a bilingual show. So yes, we are going to be offering you some content in French and in English because we're merging the two shows. So uh, we want to offer a little bit more on this platform. So if you're an expert in the parenting world, please don't hesitate us. Don't hesitate to contact us on our website at mom-talk.ca. We want to have you on the show. So Mom Talk would like to thank our generous uh, sponsor, Tri-Cities Community Television and La Société Francophone de Maillardville. If you're a mom and that, you know, another mom would uh, like uh, to hear about this episode, we're inviting you to uh, share it with her. Let's spread the love, right? Always remember... And this is always our word at the end because we love those words. It's important to laugh, keep learning, cherish your village, and be through to yourself. We'll see you soon with a beautiful lineup of amazing guests this year and some podcasts sometimes with three of us and follow our social socials for tips and tricks and quotes and inspirational inspirational like quotes and things so we have a lot to offer you need to follow us to see all of this so from becca heather and i Genevieve, thank you for joining us bye <laughs>